first I'd like to go into No X's and my Heart Goes Splat palette. I always call it Heart Goes Splat. I don't know why. It's the Take My Heart palette. This is like the magnetic mirror that attaches to the top of the palette that I can just hold. This color is so unique. We're gonna take this mauve blush shade from the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Book Volume 1. It makes it like this really soft, rosy shade. That is so cute. take this is dense um, morphe I think this came in like the vegan set this just a dense kind of blending brush and go into this really dark brown contour shade and just concentrate that in the crease and see how smoky we can make it is a really pretty blend. These mattes are always so just easy and simple to blend and the colors are just really unique. That's something I really like about the brand. I've been following them since before Hazel was born and I only just I think two years ago made a purchase because I was like tipsy. They've always been like a brand I knew I would love or like really wanted to try at least but before I was into makeup, they were just out of my price range. And then when I was into makeup and could like value a more expensive palette, I was working at Ulta and got all this gratis. And I was like, how am I going to spend more money on makeup when I don't need it? But the contour book I finally ordered and I bought the heart, uh, Take My Heart palette when it launched. And I really want to try more stuff. I really have been eyeing this lip slick they have, but... It's so hard to spend money when you have so much makeup. Brush is stained from the Alyssa Edwards pigment palette, but it's not coming off that color anymore, so it's as clean as I can make it. I'm going to take Dead Teddy on this really dense packing brush just popping this all over it really saturating the brush here I'm gonna spray it with my setting spray and this is the rebels and outlaws uh, artists and angels sacred ceremony setting spray I guess <laughs> I love the way this stuff smells and it just the mist is so nice wish I had a black in one of these palettes but I mean I have a million black so I just don't want to use I just want to like be able to show you guys what I can do with just these two palettes honestly I do want to just go back into no X's to kind of blow out the outer part Next, so let's go ahead and do the face. I really like to take, you can tell this is the most used. Because I'll do, if I'm just in a hurry, that's the one thing I'll do at least like every day. That light shade. And that just makes like a really nice soft transition shade for like this deeper shade that I'll take. I really like using these gray tones to give a deeper look because it just gives more of a shadow effect. For 
blush. I do really like to mix these two because it gives just like a little bit more of a pinkier, brighter color. And I'm using the same brush that I use my contour with. With a different contour brush, you can always take these matte white shades. I'll take this brighter yellowy undertoned one and just kind of blend it into the contour as well to give it a more softer effect as well. And then, of course, popping it under the eyes and center of your face and bridge of nose also helps with a good like shape of the face, kind of helping in that contour factor. I'm really liking this, so I'm gonna put on my lashes and liner so I can get a real idea of what we're working with, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I actually did add a couple more elements to it. I sprayed my brush with setting spray and mixed hearts go splat, that's why. <laughs> That's why I keep calling this palette the Hearts Go Splat palette. I knew I wasn't crazy. Except I look crazy because I have lipstick all over my teeth. <laughs> anyway, I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. <laughs> I call it the Hearts Go Splat because of the shade. Hello? So I mix these two. Really pretty, glowy, shimmery. This one's like kind of like a rose gold. And this one's just like a glowing white. So mixing them together gave me my inner corner highlight, which definitely complements the mauve tones in this. So these are definitely like your shimmer. This does have a shift to it, but once it's on the lid, like blended out, it's definitely more of a satin. But alone, I bet you could just make that without any matte. You probably could really intensify that to get to like a more shimmering lid. I'm obsessed with this look. I think it's absolutely stunning. I didn't add a highlighter. I think the foundation is glowy enough to give me like a really soft glow. Blush I think is beautiful with this look. Lipstick I have on Pat McGrath. This is Venus and Furs. One of my favorite lipstick formulas. But frankly, other pop matte lipsticks at least the mattes that were in the Disney Villains collection, those are the only lipsticks I own by Colourpop, very similar in the way they feel and go on, honestly. And that's like an $8 difference to a $30, $40 difference, but I mean, it is Pat McGrath, so whatever. This is the first look. I'm really, really happy with it. And I kind of never <laughs> just sat and played with just this, like, I use this almost every day. But um, when I use, I like to use palettes to just like one palette at a time, so I don't really think about combining palettes all the time, but I should because the shimmers in this are so beautiful, and it's fun to be able to use this palette. I like the colors, I like the formula. That's something I did want to touch on. Um, I've, I've heard mixed reviews about their eyeshadows, but to me, they work the way they are supposed to. They're eyeshadows, and people, I think, get really used to the pressed pigment formulas, which are these high impact like pressed pigments that you have to like apply differently and do all these steps. But in a regular eyeshadow formula, it's supposed to be soft, something that can be blown away, like blown out, something that can be easily blended into making a soft, like a new color versus the kind of stamped effect that the pressed pigments can give you, which is such a dope look and it's better for like artsy looks with the pressed pigment. Um, so I get why people who are like more creative, they don't like their formula so much, but to me this is a, their whole formulas are really good for everyday use for an everyday person versus like an Instagram artist or an Instagram makeup artist. People can make them work that way, but I don't think that's where the expectation should be for these. They're not going to be like a Melt Cosmetics that is that pressed pigment, like almost just, I mean, I'm not sure all theirs are pressed pig pigments, but they are, their expectations are to be used for the super dramatic, bold looks that you can layer and blend if you choose, or just layer and make them, I don't know, manipulate them to be more almost like liner level opacity. Whereas an eyeshadow really isn't supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be easy for the person to be able to blend it out 
and make it into a blended pretty look so I really am happy with these and I hope you guys like this look stick around for the next two if you want if you're into that kind of thing <laughs>